Hi dear Scorpio, let's raise our vibration by taking a beautiful deep breath in. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scorpio, we're going to ask Source to show you the blocks that are in your love life, and then we're going to go from there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, I already see that you are releasing what's not healthiest for you, I feel, when you come into October. It's, you know, what doesn't work for you, what hasn't worked for you, you are just understanding that you're the authority figure of your own life, you know, that you, the judgment, the criticizing, the you're no good, you're, you got to do it this way, you got to do it that way. That is just not true, that you have the right to live your life the way that you want to. And I also believe that there's a block here. Uh, some of you need to get divorced. Some of you have already been living separate. You've been living pretty much divorced for years and just having to make that happen through the courts. Uh, some of you are have this block of paying child support. Some of you have this block of um, not being the custodial parent. Some of you have this, just this block of having to control everything and have, and, and the fear of compromising. And, but that's fixable. Okay, so you, you don't have to fear repeating any of that. This is fixable. Okay. So the storm that many of you are in is fixable through abstinence. Whether you are coupled up or not, that may be a uh, form of abstinence for health reasons. Could be physical, emotional, mental, but spiritual for sure. And understanding that when we abstain from sexual intercourse or from intimacy even, okay, which is totally different, um, we are simply falling back in connection with our creator. So sometimes when we do have that storm in our relationship life and we are trying to figure out how to compromise and how to consider our partner's feelings and um, their desires, we really have to abstain what is unhealthy. And sometimes the unhealthiness is just the, the arguing. Sometimes it's not what brought up the storm. Sometimes it is the way we're handling the storm that is toxic, that we need to abstain from. But whatever that is for you, I feel like you know what is unhealthy for you. And that is where the difficulty is coming from. And I feel like many of you know that if you have been abstaining um, from intimacy, that it is a choice. And sometimes that's creating the inner storm. And so let's just continue. Thank you so much. Oh, that was it. Oh, goodness. Okay. So there's a double storm here. Let's just ask for, I feel like you're in the eye of it, but you are in this awakening and you have to go through it. Yep. You've got to go through it. You've got to know who is for you and who's not. And you've got to be able to master your physical desire. Um... You have specifically sexuality, double storm, authority figures, love, and abstinence. And let me just share right now where the stars are for you. Um, 
And because I believe that'll help you have a really solid foundation for and have a good way forward. So I feel like you come into October with this awareness of I've got to let go of what's not healthy for me, what's not working for me, what is really keeping me from having the type of connection that I want in my love life. And you could be married and not be in love. You could be married and still um, be very restricted and angry in your relationship. So whatever that is for you, whatever your status is, you have this ability, you have this energy that is really just saying, take the leap of faith and let go of what's not working for you and sit with what's not healthiest for you and what your day-to-day -day is like. It is a routine that you're doing that is causing these double storms. So look at that. Is it the need to control? Is it the fear that if you do show vulnerability, if you do let it all hang out and you show your shadow side, you show your faults, you show the deep passion and the intensity that you have towards sexuality or your sexual nature or um, your desires that your spouse will look at you like you're crazy or that they will leave you or that they won't marry you or that they won't they won't love you. They won't. They'll. They'll ridicule you. They'll judge you. Let that go. And abstain from feeding it. And know that at the center of who you are is love, and your connection with source. And in the be in the middle of the month, you've got this beautiful new start. In spirituality and facing your fears and being able to say you know what I am good enough I do deserve love deep 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 true love and I do deserve someone who gets me sexually who understands me and I do deserve to go through these storms and come out on the other side reborn and recharged and renewed in a better person and I do deserve to be the authority of my own life. And I do deserve to live my life and to have this high quality of love life and either abstain or having abstained for quite a while um, from certain things. Or to be able to appreciate that. Sometimes, you know, your partner is unable to be intimate and you need to abstain and be okay with that because you are physically and spiritually connected, not just physically. And that may be something that you're looking at because at the end of the month, you've got this beautiful full moon, blue moon energy in your relationship life. You're sitting under the stars of relationship energy and you get to... Let it all hang out and tell the truth about yourself. And if you're single, you get to share that with your creator, God. And you get to come to this awareness of self that you haven't allowed yourself to see and appreciate and respect. So this is a good energy. This is absolutely mind-blowing and soul-shaking because it's transforming you as you grow into this new person that is releasing that cold dependency that's unhealthy. You know, I feel like some of you have just kind of moved out on your own. You might have separated and got in your own home and just realized, you know, I can I like having my own space or um, I like having my own job, my own income, but your own sense of self, you're your own, you have self agency. And whether you can abstain 
from sex, from even intimacy, which is just the, the closeness. Um, and just knowing that you can do that. I, I feel like you're going to question it. I feel like you're challenging yourself this month. So you have your third eye chakra and your affirmation is, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. And with 24 here, you have the ability to compromise. So that's not a question. And um, now you know that you can do that because Spirit is blessing you with that this month, you're able to see the unseen. And with 24 here, the spiritual meaning is you're here, your partner is here, or the one that spirit is divinely ordaining for you if you're single. And you're coming together with all four winds, all of the angel's energy, all of the elements. And the universe is really on your side to balance this out and to come into full harmony with your partner and to remember that even if you're single or coupled up, Spirit is reminding you of the power in relationship balance. Let go of the control and see new ways to achieve the relationship harmony you desire. Release your need to control the karmic ties to control the outcome and the fear that you've been giving your energy to. So let me look at, let you look at that again because your reading was definitely deep, deeply embedded in control. And you do have the right to control and have the type of relationship that you deserve and desire. And But you do deserve and you have the right to control yourself okay so i pray that that helps you i pray that you find the balance in your love life i pray that you have a beautiful month and you take great care and if there's anything that i can do for you the links are down below dear scorpio remember at the end of the day honey you deserve this type of love and not to be dependent, whether it's codependent or overdependent on anybody else. But you deserve to really feel and live in that love that you know you deserve. Take great care.